Welcome to the Clear Life Kickoff. It's the game of the week as Lamarck takes on Hitchcock. Coming up, we speak to some of the players and the coaches in Lamarck and Hitchcock. Plus, we feature some of the programs and the students in some of these schools, and it's the students of the week. Stay tuned. Friday night, you're watching the game of the week on Clear Life Media. With our country, let's rock. The Lamar Cougars take on the Hitchcock Bulldogs on the Clear Life Media Game of the Week. Watch on social media or clearlifemedia.com. Welcome to the Clear Life Kickoff. My name is Kirk Casper. I'm with Clear Life Media. And on tonight's show, we are going to bring you some of the high-packed action as Lamar takes on Hitchcock. It's rivalry game that you are not going to want to miss. But before we get started, I want to say first, thank you to some of our sponsors, including Associated Credit Union of Texas, Muscle Cars of Texas, Legacy Collision, and Ryan Mesa Realtor. You guys are able to allow us to broadcast these games for free for you guys, the listeners. So thank you so much for your, your sponsorship. The list of all of our sponsors are on the screen right now. If you're wondering how to watch tonight's matchup, you can actually watch right here on our Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram pages. If you're having any issues, jump on over to our website. That is www.clearlifemedia.com. You can catch all of the action for free. Again, thanks to all of our wonderful sponsors. If you are watching, go ahead and smash that share button. Hit the like button, comment, tell a friend. We want people to tune in because tonight's game is going to be awesome. I can guarantee it. I'm now joined by James Lacoma of the Galveston County Daily News to talk about tonight's matchup between Lamarck and Hitchcock. We're going to start with the Hitchcock Bulldogs, mm -hmm. number six in the state. They're trying to make a deep playoff run, mm -hmm. but they have to get through Lamarck first. What are you expecting from them tonight? Well, they'll certainly be the favorite in this game. Um, uh, based on some of the interviews I saw, they're taking a pretty business-like approach to it. Um, they're kind of downplaying the whole, you know, local rivalry a little bit, but uh, I think deep down they're going to want to really show that they're the better team. Uh, you know, they have some really talented players at quarterback, at the skill positions, and uh, I think as far as expectations for Hitchcock, they're going to want to, you know, and, it, and it's their home debut, so they're going to really want to show uh, the home team and the local crowd that, you know, they're for real this year and they're going to be a contender for the state championship. You know, Hitchcock was downplaying that rivalry, but it's really cool to see that there are so many good teams mm -hmm. in, Hitch in, in, in Galveston County, Hitchcock being one of them, Lamarck, you know, don't sleep on them. They right. were almost a playoff team last year. And so what? how do you downplay and, and not just kind of overlook that uh, that chance to get upset, I guess? How do you look at, for Hitchcock? Uh, for Hitchcock, uh, you know, they're just going to have to uh, uh, take uh, Lamarck as seriously as they should. And, and they should because I feel like Lamarck's a better team than they were last year. Um, and, uh, you know, they're just going to have to stay extremely focused at the task at hand and uh, take care of business in this one. And I, I feel like they're approaching it with a business-like approach. We expecting, we expecting like the same thing as last year, but we're going to come into it like it's a regular game. Like we don't know, like we don't know nothing. We're just going to play it like a like it's an everyday game. Just by coming into practice every day, trying to get better and just trying to be better than what we was the week before. Well, I just stay humble and I, I just know my team. I feel like we're the best in the state. We can go in state for sure. We just lock in and do what we got to do. We, like you said, we're just taking it one game at a time. We're just taking it as the next step. Um, also, you know, one of those pack houses where we get all the big crowds. So when we go to the playoffs, we're kind of used to that noise and that, that level of the audience being in the game. As part of the Clear Life kickoff, we are able to feature some of the different programs inside of the schools. So for Hitchcock, we spoke to Culinary and the Health Science Pathway. 
I'm in the PCT program. We're in my teacher's class in uh, Hitchcock High School. Basically like a nursing class. We take blood pressure, all the vital signs, take oxygen. Basically preparing us and getting us certified for, the, for uh, after high school. In this program, we study on how to take care of patients the right way. We study EKGs also and phlebotomy. So like it kind of like detects your heart, your heart rates and how your heart's doing. Phlebotomy, it kind of, we, we practice on like sticking needles into people. Obviously we're gonna practice on ourselves before we get to stick other people. And like blood tests as well. I feel like if you, if you love nursing and you wanna go into nursing after high school, this is a good start. It's the, to take you to the next level. I think it's very important, very cool. One, you get that hands-on learning. You get to actually make an impact on your community, but it's also letting the students be able to test out if this is where they want to be. Nursing, medical, dental, all of that stuff is a lot of money and degree plans, and you might not like it. So this is a great way to get it nice testing. This is like, if you, were, if you have this class, you should take it. I think it's like a really great opportunity for you to for you to reach out. Maybe it might not be like your cup of tea, but like it's, it's fun. I'm now joined by Devin DePascal of the Hitchcock Economic Development Corporation to talk about an event that's taking place right here in Hitchcock called the Good Old Days. We're at the Good Old Days Fairgrounds. Talk a little bit about this event and why the Hitchcock EDC is so excited about this event coming to Hitchcock. So this event is, this is our 52nd iteration of this event. It's been around in some form or fashion for over 70 years. Um, we made one slight change this year where we're doing it in the fall, cooler weather, you know, more amenable to cook-offs and things like that. Um, and we're just really excited about it. This is a, a cornerstone of, of Hitchcock's identity and culture and we're just really happy to get everybody out for some live music, good food, and family fun. Who's invited? Who should come out? What should they bring? I mean, how is this event going on? So, I mean, we call it Hitchcock Good Old Days, but honestly, it's for, you know, anybody in the area that wants to come check it out. Um, you know, being a representative of the Economic Development Corporation, for me, it's an opportunity to kind of showcase the identity and charm of the community. And, you know, anybody that's looking to, to start or bring a business out here, you know, we'd love to show them a, a good time. What, what is one of the things that you're most looking forward to about Hitchcock Good Old Days? Because there's a lot going on, right? We, yeah, I mean, it's really hard to choose between the music lineup, the cook-off, the pageant, the fishing tournament, the games. There's a lot going on. Um, but I think for me, it's going to have to be the barbecue. The barbecue. It's always good to have food. How can somebody learn more information about what's going on and, and uh, come and check it out? We have a Hitchcock Good Old Days Celebration Facebook page, and you can buy tickets and learn more information at HitchcockChamber.com. Still to come on the Clear Life kickoff, we are going to talk about the Lamarck Cougars. Plus, we talked to some of the different programs, including the cheer team at Lamarck High School. And Galveston College presents the Students of the Week. Stay tuned. At Gardner Coatings, we set the standards. At Gardner Coatings, we set the standards. I set the standards. At Gardner Coatings, we set the standards. Yo establezco con los estándares. At Gardner Coatings, we set the standards. I set the standards. At Gardner Coatings, we set the standards. I set the standards. Yo establezco los estándares. At Gardner Coatings, we set the standards. At Gardner Coatings, we set the standards. And welcome to Gardner Coatings. And it's not a job. If you don't hate it, it ain't a job, right? If you don't, if you really like what you're doing, it's really not a job anymore. It's, it's uh, like I said, it's a calling. And I'm called to fix your car, so get them down here at Muscle Cars and Texas. Welcome back to the Clear Live Kickoff. My name is Kurt Casper, and we are now going to talk about the Lamarck Cougars as they take on the sixth ranked Hitchcock Bulldogs. And here's what the players and coaches have to say about their matchup tonight. We had our ups and downs with our first week, next week, uh, last week, we got a win. This week coming up, we're working as a team, passing game getting better. Um, just a little working like towards to get our defense better. It's pretty interesting, you know, the whole city will be out. But uh, we just focus on our team and trying to make a playoff run this year, do better than last year. I don't mean nothing to my team, I don't mean nothing to us. As a, as a team, I don't mean nothing to us. Top 10, top, top three, I don't mean nothing. We still gonna come the same way. For me personally, just the same as um, week one with Ball High. It just happened to be week three with uh, Hitchcock. I think emotions are kind of high, but 
Not to the extent of the first game. I think we're just, I think we're in really good shape right now. So it's just week three. Well, we fear no one, but we respect everyone. Hitchcock's a good football team. They've been doing some really good things, you know, on and off the field, basketball, seven on seven, football for the last few years. You know, so we respect that, but we fear no one. It's all about the next, it's about the next opponent. Uh, we focus on ourselves, not necessarily who we're playing. Coaches have worked hard to put together a good game plan. We're going to be on our kids to focus, stay locked in, and execute a game plan. And at the end of the day, we'll let the chips fall. We, we focus on ourselves, not necessarily who we're playing against. Most definitely, it's going to be closer. It's going to be a good game. Just show up and watch. It's going to be a good game. I'm now joined again by James Lacombe of the Galveston County Daily News to talk about tonight's matchup. We got the Lamarck Cougars. They're coming off of an amazing victory mm -hmm. where they were down 14 nothing. is that correct, mm -hmm. at the halftime and came back and blew out Wheatley. How does that momentum carry over to this matchup against the number six team in the state? Well, that's obviously a huge confidence booster for them, especially considering that's a team they lost to last year. So that's a, you know, a tangible show of how much they've grown from last year to this year. And they, I feel like they will be a better team than they showed in this matchup last year. Uh, you know, looking at some of the interviews, uh, it feels like they're approaching it. Uh, it's a rivalry, but it's a friendly rivalry. And I feel like out of the two teams, they're going to be the more, I guess, relaxed with nothing to lose. Right. And whenever you have that mentality and approach and you're facing a team that has a lot of pressure on them, being a state ranked team, uh, the upset is very much in play. You know, I do want to talk, these two teams are miles apart. You know, they, they almost butt up, their borders of the cities almost mm -hmm. butt up against each other. How electrifying is the atmosphere going to be tonight? And how big would it be for Lamarck to pull this massive upset? Oh, it's always a great atmosphere. You know, they haven't been playing each other for very long, but in the time they've played each other, it's been a great community event for both teams no matter you know which site they're playing at so uh and for Lamarck to pull off the upset in this game would you know be huge for their season yeah. uh that just gives them a whole bunch of momentum going forward you know as they prepare for district and you know they're hoping to make the playoffs this year I will say coach Wade did say that they were able to implement for the very first time ever as his coach of Lamarck a game plan for tonight so we'll <laughs> see if that game plan works out we'll have more with James including our final predictions coming up I love being able to go into the school districts and interview some of the students in the programs that are throughout these schools Defense, take that ball away. Defense, take that ball away. Well, our style of cheer is um, traditional mixed with stomp and shake it. So it's definitely something that we take pride in because we're able to mix the two and make it into something that people like to watch. I would describe us as being energetic, entertaining, and always willing to help, even if it's outside of a game, willing to guide new students around the school or willing to just help in the office or anything like that. Well, Mark Cheerling, it's we support every athletic team um, it's just really fun. Um, it's important because it's good for other students to know there's people there that support them and are there for them. Lamarck is big on tradition and they are the ones that promote school spirit, community involvement, volunteerism, community service. They're really the leaders of the school. So when I was asked to take over this program, I knew I could bring it to new heights. I don't know, at the games, at pep rallies, being a part of the blue and gold family, the Cougar family is definitely something to be proud of, because we work really hard here. Cosmetology program is a three-year program um, that is sanctioned by Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation. Um, it's literally a cosmetology program just like um, any other school, like Paul Mitchell, HCC, um, Ogle except that it's high school and the students get to come here for three years and work on their clock hours. And by the time they graduate, the goal is to be a licensed cosmetologist. Right now we're styling hair. We're doing a blowout. Skin care, nails, we learn how to shampoo hair. We learn how to, um, the importance of keeping up with your hair, um, the different types of hair things that you should and shouldn't do, the myths and truths of hair. It give us the real experience, like if we was at, like when we were older at cosmetology school, like the actual school, 
And then I like the mannequins too. It's different hair, short hair, curly hair, all types of hairs. So you can work on any type of hair and do any style and learn. Literally, I would stand, I would do my mom's hair for like four hours. She would just sit and let me touch her hair, play in her hair all the time. And this is something I actually want to pursue in the future. No, this is, you know, something where they could say, hey, I could support myself for real and make more than they're making, you know. So I think they'll see the big picture once they graduate. Right now, you know, they're just still learning. So they'll understand when, one day what this actually means. Volleyball is a great sport. I love it. I get to show much of what I do and much of what we improve. So something I absolutely love about this team um, is they don't give up. Um, I can't tell you how many people mocked me for having 5.45 a.m. practices, but yet every single one of them showed up. I set my expectations very high and they did not, they did not fall, which I love that because it's really hard to find that these days but they, they don't give up. They keep surprising me. Um, just when, just when that little glimpse of like, oh my God, like, why am I here? They, they surprise me and they do something better. We, we had a tournament at Adeline High School. And basically coach was like, keep playing fun. And then like, just do your own thing, make TikToks, do dances, like do that type of stuff. So I, I like that part. We encourage TikToks and dancing and that team, uh, that team community because on the court, you can't, you can't be divided. You've got to be able to let everything else go and show up on that court ready to play. So this year I am hoping we make playoffs with the things that we are learning. We have that mindset to go to playoffs. The culinary program with the program we would try to introduce the culinary art to students and it's encom encompass a whole range of from home cooking to industry uh, standard um, food service. We do a lot of cooking, you know, a lot of food preparation, things like that. Personal reasons, you know, I, I just want to eat, you know, but I like I like cooking, you know, I want to learn how to cook, especially later on in life, you know, for my family and stuff. An executive chef, hopefully one day to own my own restaurant in the future. Basically, it's increasing my skills and it's just helping me know more and more about culinary. For right now, it's a simple stir fry, but you're going to have to do knife cutting. They work on the knife cutting, they work on their control the heat, and making egg is not easy. It's, it's actually kind of fun because you're just kind of experimenting with new things and then like if it doesn't work out, then you can try, to try something new and the people, they usually like the food, so they, you know, you can find ways to improve cooking the food or improve making it, enhancing flavors and you know, all that stuff. I mean, I've never been in this kind of environment. I think it's pretty cool, you know. I've never been at school and been, been able to go into a kitchen and cook, you know, it's, it's, it's cool. Now joined by Sean Cattlecheck, who's the chairman of the Good Old Days, and talk a little bit about what this event is, when it's taking place, and what's happening. Well, the event um, is, uh, this is the 52nd year that we've had the Hitchcock Good Old Days. It's an annual festival that the town uh, usually comes around together. It brings back people who uh, have might have moved off, uh, come back, it's almost like a town reunion. Everybody comes out here and sees everybody. Uh, there's a lot of things to do. We're going to have a kid zone out here. Uh, a barbecue cook-off has been an annual thing. Uh, pageant, uh, Miss Hitchcock Good Old Days pageant. Uh, what we're going to do a little add to it this year, we're going to have a kids fishing tournament out here on the bio back here. Oh, cool. We're uh, going to have an old smoky cook-off as well as an IBCA sanctioned cook-off. And we're going to have a kids uh, barbecue cook-off. So those are some of the new things we're going to add. We're going to have a cornhole tournament out here. We'll have horseshoes available. Uh, vendors, I think we have about 20 to 30 vendors lined up, uh, several food trucks. And uh, it's just going to be an all-around great time. The weather is, uh, oh, we're hoping it's good. It's always traditionally been in the second weekend of August. And so we decided to make the move, uh, to move it to October this year. And again, it's October 6th, 7th, and 8th. And uh, we're hoping for good weather and a, a good crowd. Why are you involved in the Hitchcock Good Old Days? I just, uh, I'm getting a point in my life where I'm, I'm getting close to retirement and I'm looking for things to do. And I, you know, I was one of those people always sit on the sideline over the years. <laughs> and, you know, I, I just want to get involved and try to do what I can to help my community.
What are you most looking forward to about the Hitchcock Good Old Days? I'm hoping to see a lot of people we haven't seen in years, and um, I'm hoping they'll come back out. You know, a lot of these people still live in the, in the area, and uh, I'd like to see a lot of old folk, folks I haven't seen in, the, in a while. And uh, But this is not just a Hitchcock uh, event. We are hoping to get people from around the county to come out and enjoy it as, a, as well. So We still have more to come on the Clear Life kickoff, including the Students of the Week, so stay tuned. Hi, my name is Gina Welsh. I'm the Executive Director for the Santa Fe, Texas Education Foundation. We are planning our third annual Pulling for Education Play Sporting event. We are excited to be at the beautiful Providence Plantation. There are sponsorships available and teams available as well. Now is a great time to support our teachers and our students. Contact us today to secure your team or sponsorship. Bayou Fest is returning yet again this October, October 21st, 2023, and this year it is our 70th birthday. It's a fantastic free family fun event, free concerts. It's going to be a Grammy Award winning Mr. Wayne Toops, followed by the two-time entertainer of the year, Mr. Neil McCoy. And we're shooting off fireworks that night. Come on out October 21st, bring out the entire family, help us celebrate, and get ready for Bayou Fest. Welcome back to the Clear Life kickoff. We are moments away from the start of this matchup between Lamarck and Hitchcock. Remember, if you are watching, go ahead and share this out. Tell a friend. Thank some of our sponsors because without you, this would not be possible. So thank you again to everyone who has sponsored. All of our sponsors are on the list right here. So we're going to turn things over to learn more about this matchup and the final thoughts from James Lacombe of the Galveston County Daily News. Welcome back to the Clear Life Kickoff. I'm joined now by James Lacombe of the Galveston County Daily News to talk about tonight's matchup. And we have come to the segment where it is our final predictions. And I have to know, what do you think about this matchup? Does Lamarck get the upset or does the number six Hitchcock pull out on top? Well, Lamarck certainly has a much better chance, I feel like, in this year's matchup to pull the upset. I, just. You know, I feel like they're going to be more prepared this year, you know, with their coaching staff having a full year under their belts, uh, with a lot of returners on their team. And obviously last week they proved that they've made some strides. Um, uh, I feel like uh, it'll be closer than the game last year with, you know, between the two teams. But Hitchcock has made some great strides too, uh, particularly on defense, what they showed last week against right. East Bernard. Um, uh, you know, I feel like this has a chance to kind of be a shootout a little bit, um, but I still feel like uh, Hitchcock, they'll at the end of the day handle their business and be able to avoid the upset. All right, so what is the final score prediction? I, I, you're, you're struggling a little <laughs> bit because you're scared to say this, I think. Yeah. We need to have that. Uh, I feel like it'll be an offensive dictated game. Uh, it may go back and forth for a little bit. Uh, I, if I have to pick a score, I think it'll be Hitchcock 41, Lamarck 28. All right, there you have it. That's the prediction from James Lacombe. Still to come on the Clear Life kickoff, we're going to feature some of the best students in Galveston County. It's the student of the week. Hi, my name is Angelica Garcia, and I'm student week of Hitchcock High School. With Chef Willie. Um, Chef Willie is a chef, and I've learned a lot from him. He, he teaches us a lot of stuff, and we do a lot of cooking. Because it just keeps you busy. It like It's just fun. Just like overall. I'd rather do this because it's more like hands on you. It's not really book work and it's more like just like hands on. You get to do everything without having to read. I don't really know. It's just like you just got to find what you like to do and talk to whoever is over it and just try it out. When I found out I was student week, I felt good. Thank you to Galveston College for sponsoring Student of the Week. 
Enroll now and start building your tomorrow at Galveston College. Galveston College is one of the most affordable colleges in Texas. Offers small classes on a beautiful campus, an engaging college experience, close to home, and near the beach. My instructors at Galveston College were awesome. They helped me every step of the way, and now I have my degree. Choose from over 50 degrees and certificates. Get help paying for school with financial aid and scholarships, and universal access for those eligible. Enroll now. Build your tomorrow at Galveston College. Hi, I'm Rainy McNeil. Um, I am from the Lamarck High School. I am student of the week and I'm sponsored by Galveston College. I would describe myself as a leader. Um, I'm very vi vibrant. I believe in helping anyone that needs help and believing in others even when they don't believe in their self. Continuing to push others and just being there for someone. I am a trainer for the football team and I also am the president of the Spanish Society that we have here. And I, in the future, I'm going to be a track star. I mean, I want people to feel like they can be great in life. Like, I want them to feel very big of themselves. I don't want no one to have low self-esteem. Like, I want everyone to feel like they're awesome, like, regardless of anything that you go through. I'm very happy. Like, I'm so happy. I'm excited. <laughs> I am very grateful for this opportunity. And I thank my principal. So Brandy is a phenomenal kid. Um, I'm new to the campus and Brandy took it upon herself. She was actually the first student I ever met here. Her and her other trainer friends, uh, they came and introduced themselves. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Um, they came and introduced themselves and just made me feel at home. Um, it, and it's amazing to see that from a student. Um, they often, you know, don't go outside of their comfort zone, but Brandy is definitely a student who exemplifies trying to get everybody's participation and making the school spirit go up as a whole. Thank you to Galveston College for sponsoring the Student of the Week. Galveston College's Electrical and Electronics Technology Program will prepare you for employment in a wide array of local and regional industries. Apply today and receive an Associate of Applied Science degree and certification. Demand for electrical and electronics techs remains high in the Gulf Coast region. For more information about Galveston College's Electrical and Electronics Technology Program, visit gc.edu backslash electrical. Build your tomorrow at Galveston College. Well, there you have it. There's the clear life kickoff. We're so excited about tonight's matchup. Get ready, lock in, strap in. It's Lamarck versus Hitchcock. Friday Night Football, let's go, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We finna get lost tonight. Let's go, let's go, let's go. But who's gonna push through when they're tired? 